guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys what's in my beauty cabinet. This thing right here, let me back it up, back it up, back it up. This thing right here is literally my pride and joy. I love it so much. I keep all of my skincare favorites in there. I genuinely am obsessed with it. It's just something that brings me such a source of happiness every single day. So I'm excited for you guys to see what's inside of it and let me know down below any of the products that you guys see that you guys already own or let me know what product you guys are thinking about buying after seeing this video. And thank you so much to Timmy for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, so today we are gonna be doing a full on cabinet tour and this this is my beauty cabinet with all of my favorite skincare essentials, my perfumes, my jewelry, and I'm gonna go through it all with you guys. Um, and I'll also tell you where things are from if I can remember. So this is the side of my office that I enjoy the most. I love it so much. This entire cabinet right here is from Ballard Designs. It's a cream colored cabinet with iron doors, so it's extremely sturdy. And what I loved the most about it when I picked it out online was that it was glass shell. Delving. So in there, all my products are being held in by glass, which is so important to me because um, I just want the aesthetic to just be on point. So overall, this is it. So at the top, I just have some of my favorite bags. This is actually my new Chanel bag that I bought recently a Fendi bag and um, just some boxes up there. I honestly don't have anywhere else to store them at the moment because as you can tell, this is the storage in this room and it's for my skincare. So let's kind of go in and I'm gonna show you guys around. Okay, so once you open up the heavy doors, we have the first shelf that I'm gonna go through with you guys. Let's start from left to right. We have our Ancient Cosmetics oils. I actually use these the most in the summertime. This is the Sweet Almond Body Oil and I also have Island Mango back there. Those are my oils for the summer, so I really don't mess with them much in the winter time, which is why they are off to the left. Then we have all of my bath essentials. Um, this is from the company 77 Cosmetics. It's the most incredible bath line. It is so good for you because it's unscented, so it doesn't have any harsh ingredients in it that's going to break out your skin. I love it so much. I've used it several times in the bath and it's definitely my favorite and my go-to. Moving on to a black owned company, Kin Care or KYN Care. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, but I actually love the products. My favorite is definitely the toasted marshmallow body butter right there. But I also do love these body scrubs. It doesn't look like they're used, but I promise you they are. It's the Gardenia Foaming Scrub. I use this in the shower occasionally, but I do like to keep it in here when I'm kind of switching out my scrubs in the shower. I sometimes like to just keep the ones I'm not using in here. Moving on, we just have my Indie Lee toner. We also have some e.l.f. cosmetics products. I actually am a huge e.l.f. stan. I am obsessed with a lot of their products right now. This right here, the body cream, is literally one of my favorite things ever. I believe I talked about this in my nighttime body care routine, and this is just like an amazing body cream. It is so moisturizing, it has CBD in it, so it definitely helps soothe the skin, and it's just incredible. I love e.l.f. products, and I will like always forever be obsessed because they're affordable, like how can you not? And also this Holy Hydration face cream is thebomb.com. Moving on, we have a lot of body products up here. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do is to make my body look just as good as my face. So we have the Vita Liberata Body Blur right here. This is a tanner for the skin, and I absolutely adore this product because it completely makes my skin look HD. It makes it look very airbrushed, and I don't know, it's just very natural looking. And honestly, this particular color in Latte Dark matches my face best when I am wearing foundation. We also have some e.l.f. Glow Up Body Oils right here. These are amazing. I actually prefer the one back there. It's more of a bronzier tone, but I love wearing them in the summertime on like the high points of my shoulders. Now, let's talk about the product that got me famous. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about the Sol de Janeiro products. I am a Sol de Janeiro super fan. I absolutely adore their products. The Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, which I actually spoke to the founder of Sol de Janeiro and she told me it was pronounced Boom Boom, so I'm in on a secret, guys. But this is my favorite product of all time. Like, I will never not love this product. And honestly, like, I have been getting the same feedback from everybody who follows me is how much they love it. So I know I did something right by putting you guys onto that. And also the body scrub is back there. 
And I do not sleep on these. These are amazing. The Brazilian Crush Cherry Rosa 71 Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia Spray. It's like the best spray for the summertime. I don't know, something about it is just incredible. And I don't know guys, it just smells, hold on. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like summer. Like I honestly wouldn't wear that in the winter, but as a summer fragrance in Miami Beach, hello, hello, hello. Then we have some more stuff. I actually am obsessed with this Kiehl's dry oil back here. I have my Super Goop Glow Oil with SPF 50. So what's great about this is it's gonna make you glow, but it's also gonna give you sunscreen, you know, so you can have that good SPF. We don't want to have skin cancer. No, we do not. So there's that. Then we also kind of have more body stuff. I have this Moroccan oil body um, oil. It's very orange tinted, so it just makes your skin look absolutely bronzed goddess, very Rihanna-esque. And all the way back there is my KKW Body Perfecting Body Foundation. And it's just absolutely amazing. So. We have a lot of stuff on this top shelf and how can I forget my dry brush? I actually like to use this at night right after doing my oils and I'll just like rub it on my legs, my inner thighs and my butt so that I can reduce the cellulite, if you know what I mean. Moving on to shelf number two. This is definitely the shelf that I use the most and the one that I reach for probably twice a day, always. Like if not twice a day, three times a day, it's always, you know, something that I reach for. So let's start again from left to right. We have our pharmacy. We have all of our pharmacy products right here. I love my Daily Greens moisturizer. It's amazing. I love my toner. It's actually like the only toner that doesn't burn my skin. So if you're looking for a toner that's going to just kind of give you like that cleaner vibe, it's gonna prep your face for all the rest of your skincare needs, this toner is definitely for you. It's so good. And I do like their um, makeup cleansing balm as well. Then we're moving on to a brand that I'm sure you guys haven't really heard of, but I've talked about it a few times on my channel and it's the Bavara Exfoliating Cleanser. And um, I have a couple other products up there as well. This is my favorite cleanser of all time. I actually talked about it in my 2020 favorites and oh, I hate when things aren't turned forward. And then I have my oils and my masks from Bavara, just an incredible brand. Check it out if you guys have, you know, the money that you guys can spend to try out new skincare. It's definitely slept on and I love to talk about products that nobody knows about. Next up, we have all of our first aid beauty products. Um, I feel like everyone knows first aid beauty and I think universally people really love their products. Of course, like their ultra repair cream is their most popular. I actually love using this as like a lotion and as a moisturizer, I can use it literally anywhere. And it's so good for cracked heels, for cracked hands, for eczema, psoriasis. It just is such a perfect hydrating cream. Moving on, we actually have some more pharmacy products right here. These pharmacy products I probably reach for on a daily basis, which is why they're kind of in the front because I use them every day. This Honey Grail oil I use every time I do my makeup and this Honeymoon Glow I use every time I get out of the shower because it's an AHA resurfacing night serum. So it's going to really give you that detexturized skin, which is amazing because I do have texture prone skin and just some acne. So this is really just smoothing out my skin. I use it every day. And then of course, if you saw my hand routine video, you guys already know about my Neutrogena Norwegian hand cream. It's amazing. Like there's really nothing else to say other than it's perfect. Also have my Ula Henriksen products right here, the orange line. I am obsessed with this Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It's just so good and it smells so good. I love it. And back there I have a lot of face masks. These are my go-to masks for like a very, you know, bougie night with either friends or my boyfriend if we're gonna have like a nice little face mask sesh. Those are the ones that I use, but the face mask that I use the most that's really amazing and just the perfect detoxifying mask is this Teamy one. So thank you Teamy for sponsoring today's video. This mask is the truth, okay? It's just so good, it's amazing, it feels good on the skin, it's something that you can use weekly and I have noticed such a huge difference in my skin since using this. This is actually my newer one. I have one in my bathroom currently that looks crazy so I wanted to just keep this one on display but this one is so good and I just love the way it makes my skin feel. I actually have it on my skin right now. 
and I just am obsessed with it. So I'm gonna cue to the part where I put the mask on and then I will be right back. So I wanted to show you guys what the Teamy mask looks like up close and personal and what my skin has been kind of going through because of quarantine. I've just been breaking out. I've been having a lot of texture redness. And this is my favorite everyday mask or I should say every week mask because I obviously don't do this mask every day. But it's one of those masks that you can use weekly and it will not cause any issues to your skin. It's light enough that it doesn't cause any damage, but it's heavy enough that it actually works. And I just love the thickness of this mask. It dries down super hard, so you really feel it working. It has so many properties in it that helps combat acne and texture and redness, all the things that we just do not want on our skin. And they also have a moisturizer that I actually applied after this video. Um, when I was done with my cabinet tour, I just put it on my skin and allowed myself to just wear it throughout the day and it just felt so good and moisturizing. Um, I wanted to make sure I noted that in here because it's just that good. And you want something that's really going to detox your skin, make it feel good, this is the mask for you. It's 100% clean, it's made in small batches, it's cruelty free, it has matcha green tea in it, lemongrass and clay, and it helps really get rid of the impurities and replenishes the skin. Okay, hope you guys loved that little mask putting on session. Now let's keep moving on. We have the Fresh Rose Sleeping Mask. I am such a sleeping mask connoisseur. I have so many more skin products actually in my bathroom and in my bedroom, but these are the ones that I keep on display. But you'd be surprised to know how many sleeping masks I actually own. That's just the only one that's in here. I also have my favorite, favorite, favorite lip brand, which is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in vanilla and in the original smell, which is like kind of fruity. <sighs> if there's anything in the world that you can get, it's this. As you can see, mine is extremely beat up. It looks insane, but it's the best lip mask I've ever used in my life. I also have a couple other ones like this Farsali one and the Truly Beauty Star Kisser. I just realized this; these both were a gift. I just realized I had Truly Beauty. I never, Thought I had Truly Beauty stuff before, but now I'm realizing, girl, you have it. They are both good, but Laneige is literally the best. And then we have this Summer Fridays mask right here, which is just like a nice after shower mask. This is the R&R, so it's just going to kind of give your skin like that refreshing feel that you need. I personally don't use this as much as I probably should, but you know, Teamy's occupying my time with the mask department. Moving on, we have the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm and Aqua Balm. These are probably one of my favorite moisturizing products ever. They are just actually working products. Like a lot of companies come out with products that are supposed to moisturize your skin. And this truly does because I put this on every time before I do my makeup. And when I use this product, my makeup sits nicely and doesn't start caking up. Whereas if I use other products, my skin dries immediately. So I definitely have noticed that my skin remains very moisturized, even with makeup on, even throughout the day when I use these Belief products. And I just have some other things back there, like a Murad, um pomegranate mask and a primer from First Aid Beauty. Moving on, we have my Murad Blue line, which is one of my favorite skincare lines ever. I have a huge history with Murad for years and years and years. I use to save up money just to buy their products, but I genuinely think that this stuff works and it definitely is something that a lot of estheticians and dermatologists recommend you to use, which is, you know, very nice to have in your collection and to be able to access anywhere. So, Love that, and I have some stuff back there that is for a sponsorship coming up, but it's actually from the brand Foreo, which I love, and I'm excited to start using that product. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of my perfume collection, but if you guys want me to do an in-depth review of each one, I will, but I will kind of show you guys the front section. So I do have a huge collection of the Maison Francis Courtesan fragrances, and I have one, two, three, four, five of them. They are the best. Everyone always talks about Baccarat Rouge, which is an amazing scent, but I will tell you that the other scents are even better. So I'm just, I'm letting you guys in on a secret that, you know, Baccarat's great, but these back here are even better. So if you guys want a perfume review of all of my perfume collection, which this isn't even all my perfumes, I have some in the bathroom, let me know and I will do it because I am a full on collector of perfumes, as you can tell. And there's my little travel ones, which are so important. I have my Scentbirds. I have my Sol de Janeiro right here, which is just like their 
Cherry Rosa um, 62 perfume, and I have it in like this small thing that I can bring with me in a purse. And I also have, oops, I hate when I drop things. And then I also have these tiny little ones that I carry with me in my Chanel bag. That's like a really small Chanel bag. So I love to have those on me at all times when I know I'm gonna be going out and I need a small perfume to bring with me. Moving on to the next shelf, we have some more perfumes over here. These are actually all of my perfumes that I received from Rebel and I love them. I actually wear Daisy Dream almost every night to bed. I also love the Delice Nacor and Delice Vole. I could be saying those wrong, but they are amazing scents and they're just so good. And then I have my very small jewelry collection right here. And I love my jewelry. It serves me a purpose. I actually wear all of it, which is important to me. I am a gold jewelry kind of gal, but I wouldn't mind wearing silver if it was the right kind of silver. This is like one of my favorite necklaces. It's from Julia Vaughn and it's like this gorgeous chunky necklace that you can only wear on special occasions. And then another pair, What's another necklace? Oh, this one right here is something that I wear. I don't have the chain on it, but this is a dragon necklace right here and it's just so gorgeous. I love it so much. So yeah, this is my jewelry. And what's in, what my jewelry is being held in is from the container store. You can just get these there and they close up and they stack and it's just really nice to have if you have a very large jewelry collection, unlike me. So then we move on to my very small collection of hair products. I am someone who does her hair, but I wear wigs quite often, so I don't use hair products as much as probably the average person. But here we go. We have the Way Rose Hair Dry Oil. I actually used this today um, on my wig when I crimped it. And then this is my favorite gel of all time. You know what's so funny? Before the got to be glued trend happened for wigs, my stepdad used to use this in his hair every day and I would steal it from him. And I literally wore that gel every day in high school, like when I would slick my hair back in a bun. Then we have my Bondi Boost products, which are all kind of back there. And then we have the Tracy Ellis Ross's line, which is the pattern, which are all back there as well. And my last row of beauty products are just kind of miscellaneous. I have my makeup here. This is what I carry my makeup in for my everyday makeup. My everyday makeup stays in this container, which is also from the container store, and it's super convenient. I can just bring it onto my desk, do my makeup, and then put it back in here. And then I have my makeup brushes that I haven't washed in ages. And then I have my Hourglass Veil um, soft focus setting spray, which is so good. It just has a very weird um, spray to it. And then I have some candles back there, which this one right here is like my absolute favorite candle of all time, which is my Veluspa Rose Petal Ice Cream Candle. This is the perfect candle to keep in your office, which is why it's in here. And I also have this candle, which is really old of Alex and I, I made this candle for us, like for one of our anniversaries, and it's just a Yankee candle in pumpkin pie. As you can see, it's old, it's rough, it's beat up, but I keep it because it's cute, I don't know. I just like to have it. I don't ever burn it, but I like to just keep it in here to remind me of how far we've come and how long we've been together. Now we just have some new products. I try to keep all of my new PR over here, which I actually unboxed a lot of it and put it away. But when I haven't really gotten to go through it yet, I keep it over here. I have some, you know, leftover some makeup bags. I have some makeup that I never opened. I have some cute little things that I like to give family members. Like if I ever get like a cute little travel skincare makeup situation, I like to keep this so that I can give it to a family member. And then I have Desi Perkins's glasses, which are the Desi line, which are great. I have two pairs of those. And I have this amazing Patrick Ta fan. And I love to have this with me, if you know what I mean. And I have wipes because this cabinet gets dirty AF. I have um, nail polish remover, alcohol, and yeah, that's it. Oh, how could I forget? The most important thing. This is the type of thing you wanna keep in your house when you have a man, a head scratcher. He will thank you, trust me. This is the overall beauty cabinet. Okay guys, that was pretty much my entire cabinet. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm actually moving in like less than a month. And I feel so bad for the moving companies that's gonna have to move that because let's just be for real, it is heavy as heck. It is so freaking heavy. Like I don't know how they're gonna do it, but um, 
yeah, wish me luck because my cabinet brings me such happiness. Like I genuinely enjoy that cabinet more than anything and it keeps all of my products safe and it just makes everything look beautiful and intentional and perfect. So yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this. It's been a while since I've done like a vloggy style type of video. Let me know and make sure that you guys pick up your teamy mask today. As you can see, I've been loving it. I honestly wear this mask throughout the week when I'm cleaning or just doing whatever because it just makes me feel like it's just getting everything out of my pores. So um, pick it up today. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and um, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And did I miss anything? I don't think so. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>